So let's draw this out. So we have we have the ICM, we have a new ICM. And they were enrolled by um, this person who is one star. And this ICM enrolls a new customer at the combo. You're asking me, where does this person go? Because they were enrolled by this person. And then there's this person over here that's the five star. Well, right now, until this sale is made, there's no, no, no coding of this ICM. But now that this new combo comes in, this person will go to the one star here. This person will go to the one star for one star. And this person will go to the five star because they bought the essentials and they bought an AIT. Got it. And so then after, after June 15th, if somebody signs up as a new ICM, then they're on the team of the person that enrolled them? Correct. See how much easier it is to explain the new one? <laughs> sure is. Michael, all, um, ICMs are always with the person who brought them in unless they purchase education, correct? So, so if they sign up any ICM right now, that ICM belongs to that person. It won't, it's not gonna roll over anywhere because ICM stays with the person unless they purchase education on the day open. Right. But the, the <laughs> coding like if you were to go log in and say who is this ICM one star or five star it would be blank it'd be exactly yeah. the provided they don't make a sale though because if they make a sale then it fills in the blanks right yep. so it's not necessarily that they always right it's an eventuality but not a, an always it's it's silly and that's why we're getting away from it Hi, Michael. What's up, Gilda? Uh, yes, yeah, so my question is like, what happens to those, in, you know, ICMs that, that are not qualified yet? Uh, it doesn't apply to me because I'm already five star, but like say, like say they bought the X combo and then just one, they, so they still, obviously they still need one to get to the five star. So, but they still don't have the other one. So then what's going to happen after the 15th? Are, are they going to, you know, lose that, you know, that one sale because of this new plan or how does it work? Uh, Mr. Black, do you have that little graphic? Do you want to answer this question? That's a great question. And I have an answer for it because I knew that question was going to come up. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Let me share my screen real fast and you can take a screenshot of this. Will you make uh, him a co-host, Skylar? Oh, yeah, Skylar, so I can share my screen. By the way, Gilda, this is Dan Knickerbocker. I am in exactly that situation, but this new comp plan is better for me uh, in the long run. It is totally better. And Ryan will explain it more for you. Okay. All right. So this is, will only apply to some people on the call, but it also may apply to people that you have on your team. So it's important, like with any change within the company that we're giving all the information so that each ICM can make the best decision for them and their business moving forward. So here we're being fully transparent. So if you only have one more sale left to become five-star qualified, to understand these are basically your two options. We've got the current setup and then the new setup. So currently, the current plan, which will be active until June 14th, if you are only one combo sale away from five-star qualification, this is what will happen as far as payments. Your next sale, you'll make $500, then you're five-star qualified, and then on the subsequent sales, you would make $10,000 per sale, right? On the yes. new plan, which begins June 15th, you won't make 500 if you, if you make your next sale after the 15th, and it's a combo sale, you'll make 5,000, not 500. 
then you have to make two additional sales. So you're no longer one sale away from five star. You're now three sales away from five star. So then you make 5,000, 5,000, 5,000. Now you're five star qualified and under the new plan. So if you look at the total amount of commissions paid on the current plan, if you, so let's say you have a couple of people that you're working with right now and you're saying, okay, do I push the orders through now before the change or do I wait until after the change? The, these are the differences. If you do it before with the current plan, on those next three sales, your total commission is gonna be 20,500. If on the new plan, you're gonna be 15,000. So you're gonna, you're gonna make more money on the current plan. And then down here at the bottom, I've got the kind of the pros and cons for each. So your five-star qualification on the current plan <laughs> On the current plan is faster five-star qualification because you only have to make one more sale. You're gonna make more money in total over the next three sales. But the cons on that are your first sale is gonna roll up to your five-star because roll-ups are still in effect and you will make less money on, um, on your next sale because you're only making 500 versus 5,000. Whereas if you're on the new plan, you will make more money on your next sale because you're making 5K instead of 500 all three of the people stay on your team instead of just two people. But the cons are you're gonna make less money on sales two and three. You're only gonna make five grand instead of 10 grand on sales two and three. And you're gonna to have to make three more sales instead of just one more sale to hit that five star qualification. And in order for you to count the current plan, in order for your new sales that, are, that you're gonna put in, in order for them to count on the current plan, the order must be entered into the system, so into Helios, on or before June 14th, and then paid for on or before June 28th. Those are the time limits in order for it to still be counted. Does that make sense? Or are there any questions? I guess it would be a better question about that. Ryan, yeah. can you hear me? Yes. This is Kristen. Um, I appreciate you explaining that. Mm, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, on the new plan, I'm sorry, on the old plan, you can, you can make one extreme combo sale and you're automatically five star. Is that correct? No, I'd buy one, sell two. So if you bought your combo, then you sell two combos and then that's get you your five star. Kristen, this chart is only representing if we go back one slide, Ryan, if uh -huh. you have one combo sale to go. So if right. you bought yes. one, you bought yours, you sold one and you got one more to go then this chart applies to you. Got it. I think my situation is different, so I'll wait for you guys to um, finish with this one. Thank you. This chart is also, hey, Michael, and uh, so this chart is also assuming that you're not a one star yet. So if you're a one star and you have made one qualified sale, a compo sale, then that 500 should be more than that, correct? It would be 1,500, yeah. 1,500 at that point. No, it would be 1,000. Oh, just a thousand. You're right. Just a thousand. Yeah. Cool. Gilda, did your yeah. question get answered? Um, there's a there's a question here. Susa asks on the on the chat if if you have somebody who only has four thousand left in their bucket. So here, what we're looking at, this is somebody who has nine thousand left because they're one extreme plus combo away from getting five star qualified. So basically they're, they have one more essentials and then 9,000 left in their bucket. But if you only had 4,000 left in your bucket, then um, basically the numbers would be off by four, well, they'd be off by 4,000 or 5,000. So you would make on your first sale on the current plan, you would make 5,000, 500. No, because you're already one star. You would make 5,000, 6,000. You'd make 6,000 because you get the essentials, the full essentials because you're already one star, and then you'd get 5,000. So you'd make 6,000 off your current sale, and then you'd be five star qualified. So yeah, if you are one sale away, you are one combo sale away from being five star, meaning you have 9,000 left in your bucket or left or less, especially if you're only a couple grand away, I would say it definitely behooves you to try to get that buttoned up before the change because you're so close to the finish line. But it's your choice because there's different, obviously, pros and cons. 
But if it were me, I would try to get that five star done before the switch over so that your grandfather did. Yeah, I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? If you're nine grand or less away. Yeah, so with the, with the qualifying. Okay. I think that's me. Yeah, yeah, so if you only have 6K left in your bucket to fill. 6K or less, it majorly yeah. behooves you. 6K or more, you could go either way. Is that what you're saying? Nine, 9K, 9K is, yeah, the, the most common, so your situation is totally valid if you only have 6K left in your, to fill your bucket. I don't remember. It's not quite as common. Like the most, kind of a more common scenario would be 9,000, right? Because they buy your, you buy your combo, so that gives you an $18,000 bucket, and then you sell one, so that takes you from 18 to nine, and then, but in your case, you, well, it sounds like you sold some advance. So um, it's, you just kind of have to look at the pros and the cons of, and so I would invite anybody that is in that situation, take a screenshot of this, so you can kind of look at your situation and figure out what makes the most sense. Do you want to wait? Do you want to, my personal recommendation will be, Hey, if you're close to the finish line, get there before, um, you know, <laughs> get there before it changes because your grandfathered in with all of the all of the benefits. If it doesn't happen, then um, I don't even remember how much is in my bucket to fill, <laughs> but I'll figure that out. I guess my question would be, what would your current pitch be to new people? As we stand right now, what would you one pos position it? Uh, to get on board now, to wait, what, what would you guys recommend? And what would the pitch be? Well, if they get on board now, then they get grandfathered in with the credit from that purchase. If they wait, no, no purchase credit. So that's a big part of it. Um, remember, they have to go to, um, in order to get, I'm going to just switch to the whiteboard here, Ryan. Yeah, thanks, Rocco. So if they want to get five star right now, they have to generate 50,000. So in, in CV or commission value. So if they buy now, then my understanding is the 9,000 that they would have gotten in their bucket goes towards that 50,000. So that makes them automatically one star because it takes 5,000 to get to one star and you're buying now, puts you at 9,000. So now you get to earn 40% of what you sell instead of 30%. Is that your understanding too, Ryan? Yes. Yeah. From, Two weeks from, from now. If you purchase, if you purchase now. So definitely from a, because there's a couple of different perspectives, depending where you're at. Are you the five star helping supporting somebody on your team getting qualified? Are you the person who is working towards your own personal qualification? Or are you the product purchaser who is just buying their education? Definitely from the point of view from the, whoever's purchasing the education, there are only positives and no negatives for them to buy before June 15th because they will receive the benefit Michael just explained. Otherwise it disappears. So there's still a big incentive and advantage to buying now. Um, Michael. I guess to, to clar clarify on that or, you know, a bit of a, clarifying question, but um, I'm, uh, this applies to me, I am EPX holder. I am one star and three star qualified. I'm not five star qualified and I don't have any five star sales yet. Um, what is my, uh, you know, new qualifying or my new qualifying balance uh, given I have three star qualifications, I have 15,000 towards the 50. Right, and then I also have my uh, EPX my education. So do, and then I've also sold many, many essentials, or not many, but a good handful of essential sales. Um, how do I calculate how much I have 
because um, right now I would just be eighteen thousand dollars away from uh, five star. So they said is it's going to be whichever is higher. So if being a three star got you higher, and that's where you're at, then you'll be grandfathered in, and you'll get the fifteen. It, the epics only get you a nine thousand dollar credit in the new one. So I'll so I'll have fifteen plus nine or. No, no, whichever's higher, fifteen. I see. Uh, okay, so the so the purchase of the AIT would not apply. My purchase of the AIT would not apply towards the fifty thousand dollars under this new because, plan. Because right. you're a three star. Okay, and there's no grandfathering. Then. Well, you're going to be grandfathered in whichever one is higher. So okay. being a three star credits you fifteen grand. Being an epics combo hold, holder credits you nine thousand. I see. So two combos in the next two weeks, and you're five star. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the decision, right? Um, whether to wait or not. Not for my own education, but for you know enrolling other folks. Right. So because you're three star, you're now getting that fifty percent right off the gate. So let's, let's just knock out some of these questions that are in the chat real quick before we get too far behind them. Um, and I think actually that's what, what Sandra just asked. As a national three star at 15,000 credit to move to five star to generate an additional 35,000 in commissions to reach five star. Yes, Sandra. Uh, Brian, he said that for the next two weeks at three stars from nationals have the ability to gain CV for their new comp plan. Yet earlier in the video, I said before the change will not be added to the new plan. Um, not quite sure what you're saying there, Brian. Uh, will you ask your question differently? Kevin Lawrence says, if an ICM attended nationals and did not purchase profits, are they still considered three star? Yes. Remember when we told all of you, you'll be at a huge financial advantage if you attend nationals? And this, is, this is one big way they're talking about it. Okay, Robert says, will five stars be grandfathered into the new plan to get 50,000 CV credit the same way the three stars are? Regardless of how much CV they have in the transition. Um, that, Ryan, does that question make sense to you? Hey, Michael, I think the easiest answer is five stars are five stars, period. Okay, that's what I was reading. That, yeah. If you're five star, you're five star, so you don't need to generate anything. You just need to go yeah. make sales. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it doesn't apply to you if you're already five star. You're, you're already, you're, you're no longer in the, the qualification process. You're done. Oh, okay, cool. Levi uh, answered Brian's question. Personal education purchases over the next two weeks will count. Robert, oh, hey, look at that. Sadler's on it. Okay, Bill. What's up, Bill? Says, do I get 20,000 credit for the extreme combo I purchased? Bill, 10,000. Okay, so you just need 5,000 more to be three star and you'd be automatically one star. Um, okay, Yarden says, if the new ICM signs up another ICM, do they get that person? They, I'm guessing, is the new ICM. Got to watch out for these pronouns here, everybody. Um, so if the new ICM signs up another ICM, do they get that person or do they wait until they are one star? And if they get that person, how much do they think of that person? Um, Jordan, if you want to come off a of mute and ask that question or use names, like you say, hey, if uh, Bill comes in as a new ICM and signs up Fred, does Bill get, and then the that and the they's stay clear? All right, Suze's question got answered. Tim says, what about those who are currently five star but not three star? Would they be considered totally qualified under the new plan? My understanding is yes. If you're five star, you're five star. Because it's sequential now. 
Right. It's yeah, exactly. There's not, there's, you know, there's not separate buckets to fill. You know, there's no one star bucket to fill three star, five star bucket to fill. It's just on your path to five star. You're achieving those other ones. Sequential. The, okay. I think the, the point there, Michael, is that, um, if I'm already five star now, I'm not going to have anybody rolling over to me and the pay will be in different depending on the scale of anybody who I bring personally. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Right. If the person you're working with right now as a, as a three star, let's say you're a five star and you have someone on your team who's five star, not three star, and they make a profit sale, that sale will roll to you in the next two weeks. Moving forward, it will not. Michael, good question. Uh, what's up, Rafael? How you doing? Uh, I missed like five minutes, the first five, ten minutes of it. And you just said, uh, I was going to ask and you just answered it, I think. If you're a five-star and a three-star and you enroll, let's say, Jim, and Jim enrolls a couple of people, does that stop? If this is the first person, first two people stop passing up, right? Just making sure I got that correct. Only for the next two weeks. After that, yeah. anything that Jim sells will stay with Jim. Perfect. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I got it correct. Thank you. You betcha. Okay. Valerie Smith says, what happens if you are a three star due to your national attendance, but have not sold anything else? Then you just need to generate an additional 35,000. The difference between your five three star here and the five star here is 35,000. You need to generate that in CV to achieve your five star. So how much money would you earn along the way while you're doing that? Because now you're earning 50% of the CV. How much money would you make? You would make 17,500 to earn your five star as a three star. Does that make sense? And you have to generate 35000 to do that? In CV, yes. So because you're at the 50% level, that 35000 that comes into the company or that would be going out to the field, you get half and your five-star gets half. Wait, Michael, how many uh -huh. steps is that? I feel like I'm a little like dense right now. Well, it, it, it's not a number of sales anymore. It's just the dollar volume. Oh, okay. Any, any sale counts towards CV. So it could be 35 essentials, or it could be three extreme bus combos and five essentials, or it could be three and a half combos. So Michael, just to get this correct, so 35,000 CV is what is left for me to get five star. If I purchased my, um, I guess that would be the extreme at say 20,000, it would only be 15,000 remaining, correct? No. No, your own sale doesn't count. Okay, if because we're in the old plan now. If she upgrade now, yes. But if it doesn't, then doesn't. Mm. If she upgrade now. If she upgrades now, but she's already a three star. If she upgrades now, she would have a nine thousand dollar bucket credit. Oh, that's right. Whatever is greater. <laughs> so it'd be whatever's higher. So you would just stay at the fifty percent mark where you're at. You should upgrade now to get the education because it's time to upgrade your real estate game. Does that answer your question, Valerie? Sure, thanks. Yeah, one thing, Michael, um, and What's up, Bill? guys, is that, hey, buddy, thanks for uh, inviting me onto this. I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, you know, I was talking to one of my guys today at my house on a one-on-one -on -one and, and it's a, he was so stuck in the, in the number of sales because that's the way we used to do things. Buy one, sell two, 
by, you know, we have the dual qualification if you own the combo and all those things. So we have to come the 15th, all your orders going in, whether you buy your own or not, no longer will apply. So going forward, all we need to think about is, and you've already specified this, but to, to, re to, to just put, put it another way, is like you said, it's just a cumulative bucket of total commissions. You pass up, you pass up $50,000 in commissions to your five star or your one star or three star ahead of you total. And that's how you'll get five star qualified. And the coolest thing about it is that the whole entire way, you never lose anybody, you never pass anybody up and you always are making a lot more money, 30, 40, or even 50% if you're five star qualified. So we just eliminate that thought process of how many sales, how many people, how many this or how many that, it doesn't matter what they buy, they can buy anything. And we never have to worry about anybody else purchasing anything to try to help themselves you benefit. All they have to do is be a 197 ICM and they're in the game. Does that make sense, Allie? Yes, it does. Thank you so much. Okay, perfect. Michael, can I speak to this a little bit? Since my situation here is that I have one combo sale done. I purchased the profits course at the conference. So I'm three star, but I'm one combo sale away from be being five star. The reason this new compensation plan benefits me is because I believe in the value, the dollar value of human potential. It's not so much the sale and the five star that I want. I want people that's long term. And the value of those long term relationships far exceeds the immediate loss, financial loss that I would incur. It's a what $5,500 loss in the short term, but long term, that value is so much greater. And that is what I want is that long term relationship value that potential. Okay, there's no guarantee that it's going to be there. But it's the right. potential that's there. And that's what's driving my decision. Yes, that's a very healthy way of looking at it. Because Dan is recognizing that even though he has to generate 35,000 because he's just three star, those three or four people potentially, maybe more, will stay with him and then he will be the beneficiary of all of the sales that they're making. Absolutely. So, Michael, sorry, just a quick clarification on what Dan was saying. He doesn't, does he have to generate 35,000 or because if he has his combo and he has made one combo sale, isn't he already around 36,000 in the bucket in total? Okay, so purchasing your, your combo gives you a $9,000 credit. Being three star gives you a $15,000 credit. So you will get whichever is higher. You're not, you don't get both. So I think I'm the same exact word. So right now my bucket shows 36,000 out of 45,000, right? That's my AIT bucket. Yep. You're in the same. So what does that, man. so what does that, that get translated to. So the slide that um, I think it was Ryan. Nationals? Yes. So you are right here. And you have to generate 35,000 in CV to earn your five star, which will also pay you $17,500 because you're getting half. That's pretty cool okay thank you what happens uh, can you speak more about the grandfathering like i have a handful of people on essentials i have my five i have my ait but i'm not five star do do if when they upgrade when my when my essentials enroll uh, enrollees upgrade um you know do do we split it at that point and do they belong to my five star rather than myself, even though they're on my one star team? All right, let's, let's talk about it, Mr. Engineer. So here's Earl. And you can use Martin as my five star, because that's what he is. Here's Earl's brain on Renatus. 
Okay, so Earl, his five star, so Earl's one star and three star. Here's Martin. Martin is Earl's five star. Earl also has Tom, Gina, and Hank because Earl is one star and these people each bought an essentials program. Yes? That's correct. So Earl's question is on June 16th, if Tom, Gina, and Hank upgrade, what happens? Yes, correct. Okay. So we're just gonna make sure we're clear. This is after June 15th. Okay. So and I know what, what happens before that. <laughs> you wanna know what, what happens oh, before I, that? I know what happens, what happens before, before that. that the, I give up the first two. <laughs> but then you become five star. But then I become five star, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're talking after because you're clear on what happens before because it's the same as before. <laughs> okay, okay. So what is, what is Tom buying? He's gonna get um, AIT or well, Epics. I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Let's um, let's keep it simple with the nice round numbers. Let's say he's gonna get the extreme. So Tom's gonna get an extreme. He gets the extreme. So right now, Earl is at the 15,000, yes? Because he's three star. So if Tom buys, how much money is generated? 9,000. 9,000 is generated. They're already essential, so. Yeah, they already are an essentials owner, so 9,000 is generated in CV. So he did have to go uh, to 50 to earn his five star, but because he got his three star, he's automatically getting a 15,000 credit. So now he's at 35. And then Tom comes in, and now there's 9,000 in here. So what's he at? He's at 26,000 in CV needed, and Along the way, Earl has earned how much so far? I got my thousand from Tom, and I will earn. Well, just from Tom's upgrade, what do you oh, get? Oh, just from the upgrade, I would get as a three star forty five hundred. Forty five hundred, and Martin gets. Forty five hundred for him as well. Forty five hundred. Okay, so then you call Gina. Hey, Gina, time to upgrade. So Gina says, "All right, I'm in." So Gina upgrades, 9,000 comes off of the CV. So now we're at 17,000. Earl earns 4,500. Martin earns 4,500. And Hank, Hank's like, dude, this totally makes sense. I'm in, I'm getting my combo. Dude, you're getting the combo. So Earl gets 4,500. Martin gets 4,500. Is Earl five star yet? No, he is not. No, I don't think so. I've got, I've got a while. But I got paid so a while. He, has, he has 8,000 left. So. If he sells eight more essentials, he can get five star. Or he could sell one more combo and get five star. He still has to generate another 8,000 in CV to earn his five star. So let's say he sells one more combo, it's Fred. Well, he's only gonna split the 8,000 50-50. So that means 4,000 for Earl 4,000 for Martin, and then the other 1,000 that's left over from the 9,000 from Fred Bain would go towards Earl. Did everyone pick up what I just put down? Yes, Michael. May I point something out quick, real quick? Go for it. So Earl, down there where Michael said that you could either solve 
eight more essentials packages or one extreme combo, it may sound like it's a bad thing to sell eight more essential packages, but that's totally not the case because you just got eight more team members, yep. eight more. Think yep. of that human potential that's going to bring income into you as they get busy. That's massive. Does Tom, Gina, and Hank, and Hank stay with me? They are my team members. On the they're already on my, yeah, they're already on my one-star team, but they're not on my five-star team. That's okay. Yeah. They'll, they'll stay with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Since I enrolled them. Great. And they'll still have to generate 50000 in CV in order for them to be five-star, and you're the beneficiary of their business activity. And Martin would get the override. Michael, is it correct that there's no overrides until you become five star? Sorry, you broke up. Say that again. Um, is it correct that there are no overrides until you become five star? Correct. There are no overrides until you become five star. Okay. So Michael, this is Kevin. Um, well, first, Dan, I love your attitude uh, that there's no loss in this because there's a lot of people at where you're at, you know, they, they, they've enrolled, they've got their combo and rolled the combo and they're so close to five star. But what this does on that way to the $35,000 commission volume, everyone's still getting paid more money along the way. Way more. Way more money. Yeah. So when you see that people, oh man, I still got to get 35,000 commission volume. My mind goes, what do you mean still? It's like, crap, I get to earn 17,500 in the next six months. Isn't that great? In addition to, like you said, I get more people. So I get more people and get paid more. That's a great place to be. So I think that's the first thing that, that some people I see in the chats on the founders webinar, they're missing. The other thing that, that is, it's kind of, you can see, I mean, you can enroll your way essentials, you know, your way to five-star qualified. That's really great than it was before. But even so, cash combos get you qualified quicker and you earn more money quicker. So I'm still excited to enroll cash combos because then I can help position other people to earn more sooner as well. Right, Kevin. And, and there's another facet to this. Think of how many people you're going to be helping along the way. Mm -hmm. It's not all about the money. It's about, there's so many other people who are going to be helped. Their lives are going to change by the fact that they are going to have some immediate better income along the way that's growing your team. It, 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 this whole thing is just phenomenally better in my view. Yeah, I agree. A hundred percent agree. So fantastic. Absolutely. Definitely. Hey guys, I got on a little bit late. I got a quick question. This is the mayor. Um, mayor, what's up, buddy? What's up? Just hanging, man. Uh, this is great. Now I really love it. I just got a question for you. Have you started to uh, figure out how you're going to articulate the the compensation plan when we're doing follow ups? Uh, or, or is Renatus make like a slide or something to give us? I just got in here. I was doing a follow-up. Um, I was replying to a chat and didn't listen to your question. Sorry, say that again. All good. No, no. I, um, have you already figured out how you're going to articulate the earnings or the compensation plan when you do your follow-ups now? Like, what's the plan? Like, you know, I was using Scott's bucket thing and then the new oh. earnings plan. So what is yes. it now? It's going to be a combination of this slide and this slide that's pretty much it these are the okay. things we sell we sell this 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 and this these are the the cvs and because the key here is any sale goes towards your five-star process it's way easier to track and how do you get to five star is this. Your zero here, five here, 15 here, 50 there. You get 30% until you hit one star, 40% until you're three star, 50% until you're five star, and then 100% once you're five star. Okay, perfect. That was easy.
Michael, I have a question. Um, hey, hold on. We got are we go hands. Sorry, Wanda, we got some hands raised. People oh, I'm so sorry. Impatient. All right, Renee, what's up? Um, hey, Michael, uh, just real quick. If you are a one star and a three star, nationals three star, it sounds to me that over the next two weeks, if we sell essentials and profits, we make 100% of the commissions instead of 50%. Is that correct? Yes. Woohoo! Gonna yeah. sell the snot out of that. Sell them, and because you're one in three, those people stay on your team also. So it's sales season. Woohoo! All right, cool. that makes good, a lot more sense. Good, Thanks, Renee. <laughs> good job pointing that out. All right, um, Alvin, question time. Go for it. Alvin? Sorry, it's someone on my team that logged in as me that rose their hand. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so Alvin, put your hand down. That's a dangerous way to run your Zoom account. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no worries. Bye. All right, so we'll go to Paula and then Richie and then Wanda. So Paula, what is your question? Paula? Okay, next. Richie, what's up, sir? My, I'm so excited about this, dude, for real. Yeah. But, um, what's up? Um, the, uh, the breakaway. So, say you have an ICM um, and he signs somebody up. That guy goes and just overruns the person who signs him up, does he break away and does the original ICM still um, get overrides or they got to wait until five star or what happens with that? They would have to wait until they achieve their five star to get overrides off of that person they enrolled that is five star. But they um, still be under them until five star qualification and from then on? It's well, they're, they're always going to be under them. The question is just who gets what percentage of the sale? Roger that. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. You betcha. Hey, Michael. Um, Bob, yes, me Bob mentioned something about the wealth cycle, and I don't know if we are going to continue promoting that we have a wealth cycle, or are we getting away from that? Or it, I just need some clarification there with the wealth cycle. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely still be talking about it, how we can, we can say invest in real estate, make money, or talk about it, make money, and then use that money to invest in real estate. Yeah, but in, I was thinking instead of a circle, I was going to do an infinity sign. Okay. Wealth, wealth infinity. Okay. Yeah, because right. it's kind of, it's going to be, I think what I catch from what he said is that it's no longer only to invest in, in real estate because we have other areas, correct? Right, right. Entrepreneurship as a whole, a much okay. broader, broader net we're casting here. I, I don't know. I'm... Just an hour, sir. She's what? I'm going to add, Ryan. Um, no, just, yeah, I agree. Thanks. Wonderful question. I, at least in Spanish, we, we do talk about the wealth cycle every week. And we will continue to do that. So, yeah, that's definitely a part of, of what we talk about. All right. So, Sukrit, did your question get answered? Uh, yes, I guess so. Even though I thought it was 22,000, I still don't completely understand 15,000, but yes. To some extent. Well, then it's not, then your question didn't get under, didn't get answered. So, ask your question in a different way. So I was just trying to understand where would I end up being? So say we, at that time when we got it, our combo still counted. So that's 10,000 in CBs, right? And then another 10,000 when we sold the combo and then maybe you sold two more essentials. Oh, so how much oh, am okay. I left? I see the clarifying point now. The grandfather, the grandfather is only going to be um, moving forward, two things. It's either going to be your 
um, your star status. That'll be grandfathered or your purchase, not your sales. Not your sales. Not your sales. That, that doesn't make sense, Michael. I understood it the other way. That it would be your sales and not your purchase. No, because yeah, your Michael, purchase would be a $10,000 credit. I thought Bob was saying that the grandfathering would be the higher of the two. So if Secrete was at the 5000 and he had more than the qualify the cash value, he would take the higher of the two. Yeah, so if higher of the two would be 22,000. Yeah, it would be where, yeah, but where you're at now, exactly. So you would have less to go than just the default cash value. Um, I, that's, that's not what I, yeah. It said it right there on that last slide you're on, Michael. Well, on is this what I said? Right there. there. Right it says there. you will receive the larger of the previous sales credit or the 15. Exactly. Right, oh, but it won't be oh, your sales oh. credit sales plus credit. the 15. Sales credit. Yeah, so, so right. Sakri is where he's getting lost is that he's thinking he'd fall back down to the default, but he wouldn't. He would get the larger of his previous sales credit. Gotcha. Am I right, Sakri? I thought it was yeah. purchase credit, but it's sales credit. I'm clear on that now. Yeah. So in that case, if I'm understanding it again correctly, so our own combo was 10,000. We sold a combo. So I sold two essentials after that. So that is 12,000 and then a combo. So that's 22,000. So in that total amount is more than 15. So that 22,000 counts. That means I have to do 28 more thousand in CVs to get to five star. Yes, which means you would also make 14,000 along the way. Yeah. Is that accurate? Sorry, I, yeah. Or sales. So okay, the, that. the bucket chop does not count as a sales credit? The bucket chop does not. No, so just purchase or sales. And that's where I was confusing myself. So thank you guys for clarifying that here. So purchase, sales, and star status all carry forward, but bucket chop of 18,000 does not. So Michael, just a question. Tim, bring it in. Yeah, so uh, if somebody is three star because of this last conference, they had zero sales, uh, does that mean they still need to fill up the bucket with 50 or they still need to fill up the 50,000 before they become five star? They automatically have 15,000 in, in CV credit. Okay. So they just need an extra 35 and they're, and they're good. Correct. And how much would they make along the way of generating that 35,000? Right. Right. They would make a uh, 50% of that. So they'd make uh, uh, 17, five. Boom. That's awesome. Isn't that great news for them. That's so cool. So cool. Yeah. And they keep their people. Awesome. They keep their people. So they should be making money right now. No more delays. No more delays. Cool. All right. Michael, great I question. have a really quick question about our situation. I'm sorry. Kristen, I feel go like, for it. Yeah. All right. Cool. So I'm in the exact same situation as Sukrit. Uh, me and my husband are three star qualified. We have sold two essentials. Now we have a decision to make. We have one person who might be purchasing or is, says that they want to purchase their extreme combo. Would it be better for us to wait or because it's 22,000, correct? That we've already, that would be CV or should we sell right now and then have, gosh, I don't even know how much more to go. You would, if, Okay, so if you sold two essentials plus one combo, you have 28,000 to go in the future. We haven't sold the combo yet. We've only sold two essentials. Oh. I'm sorry, and we bought our combo. Oh, oh, so oh. That's where oh, I'm getting oh. tripped up. Okay, so K-Train, say it again. So you bought your combo. Mm-hmm. Okay, so 
if we're talking about grandfathering, then so far you're getting a ten thousand dollar grandfather credit. Yeah. Okay. And then you sold two essentials. Two essentials. Yes. So that's another. Didn't you also sell a profit? Sorry, what did you say, Renee? Didn't you also sell a profits? Nope, not wasn't me. But we have one person very interested in getting the combo. Um, so I'm like, do we wait the two weeks or do we not wait the two weeks? That's where I'm at right now. Well, let's do the math. Make sure that we're clear so you can make a better decision. Wonderful. So you would get the other from your sales, 2000 here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that means you have 38,000 to go okay. if you wait. Okay. Okay. So, but you attended nationals. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. So then you also get, if I'm understanding this correctly, secrete Hartzell, make sure I'm saying this right. If she also attended nationals, doesn't she get the $15,000 credit towards the 38? She gets maximum of the two. So she will lose the 12,000 and then get 15,000. That's okay. what I'm understanding. So then you would either get, so then, so then it's not a choice at that point. You, if you don't make any sales, you will be at the three star and you will need to generate 35,000 to achieve five star. Right, and if, they, if that's if they buy now, or in two, I'm sorry, two weeks, I apologize. Yeah. That's if they buy in two weeks, then they would get, then I would get the 35,000 and we'd get 5,000 from that sale. Um, yes. Okay. And we'd have to work up to that 35,000. Megan Dale in the chat just said, wouldn't it be up to their lead if they want to buy now, you'd let them. And I, I essentially <laughs> absolutely, absolutely agree with that. I, you know, buy now, get started now. I'm just wondering, you know, what we would get, we would get what now, like. So if you sell now, so right now your bucket is chopped, right? You got the bucket chopped to 27, mm -hmm. you got your own credit of 9,000. So you have 18,000 to go. So if you sell now, then you would get another 9,000 in here, mm -hmm. meaning you only have 9,000 to go. Oh, so that would it, essentially it, be hold just on, like- in the old plan. So then we would go right. back over to here and say purchases and sales count. So this 2,000 would now become a 12,000 because you're selling another combo. So then, the you have twenty two thousand deducted from the fifty thousand you need to go, so then you would be at twenty eight thousand. But she went to national, so she has fifteen. But it's whichever one's higher. So if she sells the if she sells the combo now, she gets twenty two thousand grandfathered in. If she uh, doesn't, she gets fifteen thousand grandfathered in because she's three star. Michael, she also well. makes commission off of that sale if she does it in two weeks if she does it now she doesn't get compensated for that right if she does it now she'll get one thousand dollars mm -hmm. and um twenty two thousand in cv credit if she waits then she'll have She'll make five thousand dollars, but she'll need to do thirty-five. Uh, let's put it in credit form and fifteen thousand. So she'll earn five thousand and have fifteen thousand in CV credit. But I'm gonna have thirty-five to go. But once you get Michael, that see, all she already has fifteen, and if she sells combo later on after two weeks, doesn't that already takes her to twenty-five thousand CV points? And five thousand dollar cash. Oh right, right, right. So she would be grand. This would be the grandfather, plus the new um, ten thousand from that sale. This sale at five k paid 
gives her 10K in credit. So then she would actually be at 25 CV credit plus five grand. Oh, so I'd only have 25 to go. And maybe this is my deciding factor in the chat box I'm also reading. If they waited, they would be on her team. They may be interested in that as well. I forgot to add, he did want to become an ICM. But Michael also, though um, it's a benefit for the customer that they would then become, they would come in as one star coming into the new system, being grandfathered in rather than starting them off in at a zero. Right. You're correct. Dustin Gizek in the house, what's up buddy? So if we're gonna go explain the compensation plan and they wanna become an ICM, then we say, hey, if you buy now in the new plan, you're automatically one star, which puts you at 40%. If you wait, then um, your own purchase doesn't count and you start out at zero and only 30% of what you pay. Ooh, this is a hard decision. Well, it's not up to you. Right, it's up to my guests. Correct. There you go. Okay. Thank you guys. Thank you, Justin, thank you, Kristen. Thank you, mm -hmm. Sukri, Renee, Clinton, all for helping us answer that question. Hey, Michael, can I point out something important? Please. So everybody that has potential sales right now um, in the pipeline, their sale counts no matter whether they um, use billing or if they purchase outright towards this um, grandfathering. So if you have anybody in the process, you're going to want to explain to them that they're going to want to finance the most that they can if they're in that position where they can't pay cash for something because that total amount of the CV is going to count in this new um, compensation plan. I think that's exciting. It's not how much is collected then. It's what they purchased. It will be what's collected in the new plan in the current what counts is whatever they purchase. Do you see the difference Clinton? Yeah, I think I understand that. So, moving, so right now, if someone bought on billing, it's like they paid cash in the compensation plan. But moving forward, it will only count towards CV as the money comes in on a monthly basis. Gotcha. Cool. Which would then also incentivize people to sell more cash product in the future. Right, if they want to achieve five stars sooner, you gotta be selling cash stuff. Good point. And that means if you have anybody that's been waiting to buy, this is a good reason to talk to them about getting started some way, somehow now, so that they're getting credit in the future. Yep. Very good point. Okay, so let's see, we answered. So Tim, did you get your question answered? About the beard? Uh, <laughs> it says uh, the 30%, 30% override and three star gets 10% and five stars. Your... Yeah, so uh, I was talking about, that's actually, so somebody answered and said that's actually straight commission that's not override so you actually don't get overrides until you actually are five star is what it sounds it was what my understanding is becoming yep so okay good so we're good there okay kevin good thank you sandra so if i just sold an essentials and a profits so i just sold an essentials and a profits so they go to my five star um Yes. And if, if you're not one star or three star, then that essentials and that profits rolled to your one star or three star mentor. Um, if that already happened, you get your first two. Okay, David says, I'm currently one and three star. What is the advantage of becoming five star now versus after two weeks? Well, um, it depends on your bucket. Also, David, on your, to answer your question accurately, I also need to know if you made an AIT purchase or not. And 
what you actually purchased to, to answer your question. Okay, Dane Clark. Dane, is this the same Dane that I'm familiar with? Because that's a weird way of spelling it. Sandra, if your five star is no longer active as an ICM, it'll roll up to your five stars, five star. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, happy selling. All right, thank you, Megan, for pointing that out. Alvin, love it. Okay. Awesome. Person. Person's got a question. Okay. So if I'm three star because of nationals, but not one star, that means in the new compensation plan, I'm one star. No, you stay a three star. So person, you'd be a three star, which means you're in the 50% earning situation now moving forward. All right, thanks Bruce for staying up on the chats. All right, Monica, my understanding was that if you are one star or three star, your overrides are the difference between your commission rate and that of the person under you sold the product. Okay, so overrides, let's be clear, the word overrides can only happen once you're five star and someone below you makes a sale then you get a the ten percent override. I think what you mean here is the overflow, or what we might also call a split commission. Split commission or overflow is one thing. Override can only happen once you're five star. So with that being said, is your uh, I would like you to clarify your question. Okay, cool. All right, all right, Herson, you betcha. <laughs> Dane, you're amazing. Okay, so Sandra says, uh, if I'm three star from national, sold the profits and in essentials, my bucket's at 27. Uh, why is your bucket at 27? Bucket is only affected by selling AITs or by buying an AIT. So if you enroll an ICM and they buy education now, it'll roll to your five star. Yes. Okay. You cannot get both, Levi. So Levi says with overflow and override, can you get both? No, because um, there's no longer the separate buckets of one star, three star, and five star. Because it's sequential, you cannot get an override off of a one star purchase while still getting the overflow from a three or five star purchase or uh, commission. So the answer would be no, it's one or the other. And Michael, to clarify that, it would be good to draw that out, how that works, because that override is off of what the five star who is underneath you makes. Right, so here I am. Well, let's, let's call this guy Dan, and Dan is five star. And Dan's, Dan also has a five star named Michael. And Dan goes and makes a sale to Joe. Okay, and Joe buys a combo. So Dan earns 10,000 bucks. Dan earns 10,000 bucks from Joe buying a combo and Michael will get a $1,000 override. Those are overrides. This is an override. Override. Oh, cleaning that up. So we're, we're all good on overrides. And Michael, if Joe sells a combo, being a new ICM, what, does Dan get an override or does he get something else? 
And as Michael right, so, is doing that, right? So Joe, so you're saying Joe makes a sale. Joe sells a combo to Ted. Great. Okay. Well, right now, if Joe is also an ICM and he makes his sale to Ted, he is in right now the 30% bracket. So Ted, or sorry, Joe would get $3,000 from enrolling Ted in the combo. And Dan would get the overflow of $7,000. Michael would get the override of $1,000. That is the clarification I think that she needed. Hey, Michael, on yes, sir. the uh, commissions for Joe, that I uh, thirty percent is only up to five thousand on the combo, Ooh, and then the yeah, other goes from five thousand to ten thousand is under the forty percent. So it's actually genius. a little bit more that they make. Okay, so it's not as clean cut. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Detail, man. Right. Okay, so he would get 30% up to the first 5,000. So it would be 1,500 of the first 5,000 and then 40% of the remaining 5,000. So that would be 2,000. So he would get 3,500 and you would get, and Dan would get 6,500 in overflow. But is the that override is exactly the same. And, and the clarification was on overrides. But the override stays the same. Does everyone understand what I just said and what Dustin just pointed out? As the overflow of the money oh. goes to the next level, you earn a bigger percentage of that money. Tim, does that make sense? Okay. Double thumbs up. Love it. So we're really creating a commission bucket for ourselves. We're filling up our own $50,000 commissions bucket. Well, the CV is on our own productivity, not on someone below us. Right, right. So I wouldn't, that wouldn't be accurate, Sandra. It would or would Michael, I have a question. It would not. Okay. Carol, go ahead. Yes. Um, I have two ICMs who have only purchased essentials. Should I encourage them to upgrade um, to the full package before then? Oh, I mean, within the next two weeks so that they can benefit more with the CV points? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they would, because then they would be an automatic one star. Right. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I don't want to push anyone to buy anything, but if they are ready, I think it will benefit them to upgrade. Perfect. Good question. Okay. So with this example, real quick, is I think you might have gone over this, but let's say in this situation, Dan is not, let's say he's, a, he's still an ICM level, not even a one star. You can keep all the things there, but what would, what would that look like for, um, in terms of his compensation from Joe's combo? Would he only get 30%? He wouldn't get anything. Wait, so because Joe is selling to Ted. Uh, he wouldn't get anything. So um, again, what I'm saying is that, that like- 6,500 would go up to the next five star. Because this is Ted's combo way down here. And it has it goes up to the next five star. And that's and that's where it's talking about the group, like uh, the qualifying group. Like your five star is like the top, he's in charge of the whole group. And then you don't get out of his group until you uh, until you five star out. Right. So Joe could get five star before Dan and Michael would get all the money from Joe's work, but then once Dan becomes five star then the money stops flowing up to Michael. Well, would he, would he, sorry, but wouldn't he get at least like, uh, 
like 30% because he's at level 30% of that. And then, because I did see that example of like the 30, 40, 50. Yeah, but Tim, that, that's not what you wanted Michael to do. You, you said that I would be an ICM only, not okay. a one star or a three star. So it, what Michael drew is correct. So if you say that I am a three star, which I am, that oh. changes what would happen. Oh, that makes sense. So if he's a one star, then he would get 10% of that. Does that make sense? So uh, if he was just one above him, then he would only get 10% of the sale. Yes, that is correct. Above him. Ah, that's where it came in. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, cool. That's, that's actually pretty sweet. So you're still getting, I guess you call it an override, but it's an overflow. You get some overflows, even if you're not even com completely five star. That's, that's right. awesome. Powerful. Right. You get overflow on your way to five star. You get overrides on your five star. And the overflow could be a lot or it could be a little. It could be that 10%. Well, it's just going to be 10% or 20%. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So going to Sandra's question where she had, you know, someone that essentials is looking to level up and if they level up their CV would transfer over after June 15th, but do they have to have their ICM agreement for that to transfer or is it for also for education holders? Like does CV credit only transfer if you have an active ICM before the transition date? Um, I believe that would be a yes. Let me. Let me get some clarification on that. Thank you, spoiler. I'm trying to get unraveled here. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay, so so to get grandfather credit from purchases do they need to be an active ICM now I would imagine so because in order to receive the benefit for the three-star qualification from the national conference ticket, it was required for you to be an ICM before the conference started. So I would guess that's the case. Right, I'm like 98% sure it's a yes. Okay, so David's got a question. What happens when someone who has different mentors, a one, a three, and a five-star level, does that person go to the five-star level or enroller who is three-star? So if someone has split mentorships right now, that's going to collapse and it's only going to go to five star. So for example, Dane Clark has a split mentorship of a one star and a five star. And um, hold on, someone's calling me to get the link to this. Let me just invite him right now. Um, but those, the split mentorship is going away and it's only going to be the five star. Doing a Q&A for now. Does that answer your question, David? Perfect. Yes, it does. Thanks. Okay, you betcha. All right, Hillary says, if I purchase an AIT Extreme Plus package and an Essentials last year, do I automatically qualify as a one star under the new plan? And an ICM, I've only sold one package. So yes, you would just be a one star with um, 11,000 towards your 50 because you got the 10,000 from your own purchase and the one and the one essential that you sold. 
Okay, Joey Bakowitz says, is it fair to say that in the new plan, we have a $50,000 bucket? No, because you're earning money along the way and you're earning either the 30, 40, or 50% along the way. So um, in a way you can, but um, I would stick to this chart here. Instead of using the bucket uh, analogy anymore, I would stick to this. I think this is way more, paints a way clearer picture for someone because then they can see that along the way, um, they're getting a higher percentage of what they're selling. The shift is, it's kind of a paradigm shift away from X amount of money that you're producing into a bucket for your five star to this, you're going to be selling, generating commission volume, and then the percentage of how much of that commission volume goes into your pocket increases the more, so the more money that you make from the company, the more of the company, the higher percentage of the company will pay you. So it keeps the focus. So we want to kind of shift that paradigm away from, oh, you have to fill the bucket to your five star to get qualified to, as you're going along, and as you're enrolling people, you get paid on every single sale. And the more you get, the more the company pays you, the higher the percentage gets until it gets to 100% of every sale. It's kind of a weaning, it's kind of like you slowly get weaned off the support from your, um, you know, from, from the people, from your five stars, because as time goes on, a higher percentage of that CV is going to be paid to you to, to the point to where you don't really, aren't going to really need them because you're a pro and you're doing it yourself. So it's, a, it's more of a gradual process of qualification versus what we've seen in the past, which was simply buy one, sell two. And then, you know, a little more harsh. This is a more gradual process. So a little more hand holding, a little more guidance along the way. So it should be good for everybody there. And this is Tracy. Hi, everybody. Hey. Yeah, I just wanted to add to what Ryan said. That's brilliant. What I'm hearing is, is that it actually incentivizes the ICM because there is the uptick in the percentage of commission that they get paid. So that's the one thing. The other thing that I love about this, Michael, because this is where you began, what we love about this new plan, what we see as a benefit, what I see as a benefit is, is what Bob Snyder mentioned. He said that with compliance, with legal, we want to make sure we separate the whole education, buying the education, as an incentive to benefit from the bucket and the, according to the old plan. So what this really does is it creates a clean line so that people are really, they're buying the education wherever they buy it and according to okay. how they're rising up in the compensation plan. It's totally clean and I love that. I'm not articulating what I'd like to say exactly, but it just creates a total separation. There's no motivation to get the education to benefit from any compensation plan at this point. I love it. Right, it shifted from incentivizing someone to buy to incentivizing them to sell. Exactly. And if they Real sell, clean. we make more money as five-star people. Right, really clean, I love it. Thank you, thank you for bearing with me while I was stumbling over my words. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so Michael, just to, just to review compensation for mentorship, for example, a three-star who is mentoring a brand new ICM is getting overflow up until their team member becomes three star. And at that point, the, um, they're both three star. So um, the person that I'm mentoring is not generating overflow for me if I'm the three star, is that correct? All right, let's talk that one out. Uh, I'm going to make sure I understood your question. Did everyone understand Chris's question? So Chris is a three star. Here's Chris. And Chris has a five star. His name is Michael. And Chris just enrolled a new ICM. And that person's name is... 
Jed. Jed. Nice. Okay. And all right, now ask your question. So when Jed starts generating sales. Okay, so Jed's going to sell to Bill. What does Bill buy? Uh, let's say Bill buys, um, um, first he buys a, um, um, a $3,000 package. Okay, so um, Bill buys a profits. Right. Okay, so $3,000. Uh, well, so there, um, so he pays 3000 What is the CV on the profits? Do you guys remember? 1500 1200 Or 1200 sorry. So Jed would get 30% of 1200 bucks. So he would get 400 And Chris, you would get the 800 Okay, and now four hundred dollars has gone towards Jed's one star. He needs to generate, or uh, sorry, uh, twelve hundred has gone towards Jed's five star or one star. Twelve hundred has gone towards Jed's one star. Okay, and so then Jed um, sells an additional um, AIT um, for another six thousand dollars. Or let's say an AIT combo, so it's like, what is it, eight thousand dollars, generating okay. four thousand dollars in CV, right? Right. So they sell <clears throat> the advanced combo. So four thousand in CV. So Jed would get thirty percent. So first of all, he gets the the four thousand in credit. So now he's actually bumped up to one star and has another. Uh, 200 towards that. And now let's talk about the dollars he earned. He gets 30% of that 4,000. So he would get $1,200 paid to him, and you would get the 2,800. And then he would also get 40% of the 200 which would be 80 bucks for Jed oops and you would get the remaining 120 bucks okay and so then once Jed sells another um, uh, sells a an extreme combo and becomes three star um, okay. How does the compensation go from that point on? So he sells one more to Dan. Dan buys the extreme plus combo. So the CV here is 10,000. So now he's achieved three star status. Jed is now three star. Right? Yes. And Jed also got 40% of that 10,000 because he was already one star. So Jed gets 4,000 here. And you would get the 6,000. Um, so then Jed goes and makes another sale. Let's just keep this thing rolling. Jed makes another sale. You would then be passed up. So Jed makes another combo sale. So another 10,000 in CV. Mm -hmm. Now three star. So he gets 50%. So Jed gets 5,000 from this sale. And then Michael would get 5,000 from this sale because Chris is no longer five star and he's been passed up in the qualifying group. Okay, so until until Chris gets passed up, 
um, we're splitting the um, the um, oh. earnings off the CV. I thought it was just I thought it was just that. Um, let's say, for example, um, Jed is at one star, and he generates. Um, so he's getting 40%, and I thought that um, that I would be getting the additional 10% because together we would be just earning 50% of CV. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, yeah. this is I Michael, I think um, like what he was just saying there was right, like the whatever level you're on you only earn up to that percent um, that's right, paid right, out. right. So it wouldn't be the six thousand up here would not have gone to Chris, right? Only one thousand would have, and five thousand would have gone up here. Yeah. So my, I understand how all that works, but at the point where we're both three star, and that's my team member, and uh, whatever my three star sells from that point on, I'm not really seeing any overflow because we're both three stars. Is that correct? Yes. And that's why this 5,000 flowed up. Okay. So that, that's, that's pretty easy to understand. Um, if, if my three star becomes five star before I do and then breaks away, um, the, um, you don't get any overrides until you achieve five star and then they would move back under you. They move back under me. Are you certain of that? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. That answers all my questions. Cool. I'm loving it. I love your vision of thinking long term and a big team of what's going on. And again, Dustin to the rescue, clarifying it. Thank you. Okay, Charles. Um, your question is, I need more context. He says, how does this work in regards to purchasing the education? Purchasing in the future has no bearing on getting five star. Okay, so I see Richard says, no bucket. Chris Summers, what's up, dude? Way better, easier to understand, good move. Ben Clark says, like, way better. Similar dollars, more money up front, but, this, but then spread out over time. So Richard asks, so in the five-minute explanation, we now just explain that percentage increase as you get qualified. Yeah, that would be the easiest way to do it. Charles, if you want to come off mute and ask your question in a different way, I'm happy to answer it. Okay, David says, if I'm three star and already gave up two people to my five star, when my other five essentials holders upgrade to AIT, they will stay on my team and I will make 50% of the AIT purchases. Yes. Yeah. That's a lot of money to make. So I was just wondering, you know, so, you know, if they purchased, you know, the full extreme plus combo, you know, they don't get the credit anymore. Well, what happens when they come in with the, just the 197 and they go all the way to five star? Do they have to like purchase the education? Only if they want the education. You can have people who come in at 197. So Charles, in two weeks, let's say you enroll someone at the 197 level. Okay, you get this new person in two weeks. You're going to get if you're five star, you're going to get 70% because they're getting 30 on the first five grand. Then you're going to get 60 and they're going to get 40 on the next 15 grand. And then you're going to split it 50 50 on the remaining 35,000. And they only ever came out of pocket $197. Does that make sense? Or should I say it a different way? Yeah, that makes sense for the compensation plan, but how does it work for the education? How do they get access? How would they get access to the education? Is what I'm like, oh, like so they, have to buy they didn't have the, you know, 
the 2,000, the 3,000, and the 25,000. They couldn't come up with a way to, you know, so they would have to use their commissions to buy the education. Is that right? If they want to, if they want to get access to it, yeah, that's how they would do it. Clinton, what's up? I was just going to say, but the five star is basically going to be the one that's sitting down and showing these people. I was trying to help clarify it for him. <laughs> right. So the ICM comes in at 197. He's relying on me as a five star to help him sell education and then using the group and the meetings and all of that stuff. Correct. Yeah, so along the way, if they go all the way to five star and they only come out of pocket 197, but they did it that way, they would earn $23,000. So then if they're really serious about getting their combo, they can use that money right there to, to buy an ethics combo cash. Yeah, 29,000. 20, 29, oh, if there's, I think it's 29, right? Wasn't it 29,500 for the ICM? I can't remember. Wasn't it 20, 29? I'd have to do the math. Oh, that's the one I didn't get the screenshot of. We're just going to have to go back and look at the old, look at the recording. Oh, I, I thought might he said have. it was 23,000. But if you sold five epics, then that overflow would put the other 6,000 in your pocket giving you the 29. Let's just do the math real quick so we're clear on it. Because 20, it's, 20, it's, 20, it's 29,000. New ICM from, from zero to five stars, 29 grand. Okay. The new, the new five star potential earnings is 38.2. And uh, so I did get the screenshot of that. So and the interesting thing is, is, you know, we used to talk about, we used to talk about marketing this to business owners or people that want to make money from home or, um, or an, a real estate person, right? And so we always go to the real estate person because they're going to buy the education and then we'll backdoor them into the, uh, and that's not that we backdoor them, but eventually they'll get the value of marketing and all that stuff. What's interesting. So, all those people, if, if we showed them the marketing plan, the business compensation plan, we would, we would say, listen, it doesn't make any sense for anybody on their right mind to ever go and not buy the education to, be, to have a business because it's like your startup cost for your business, like having a store with nothing in it. Well, here, in theory, you could market to people that want to work from home and they may never want to do a darn real estate deal until they finally, you know, by osmosis, realize how powerful our education is. But for $0, for $197, they can start out making three grand on an Epix combo, 30, whatever, whatever it is, uh, 3,200 or whatever, on an, on an Epix combo and, and not have to come out of pocket anything more than 197 and give you a warm market list. Right. So let's be clear, on the first 5,000, of the 11,000 that that ICM generated from an epics combo, they're getting 30% of. So they would get- Yeah. 50%. Then there's still another um, 7,200 we haven't accounted for. And then that would be at 40%. To the three star, but it, it would be 10% to the three star. And it would be, if there's no three star in between, it would be, the, the, the difference would go all the way up to the five star. So if you're a five star and you bring someone in at 197, you could make, they, they could give you their 10 warm market list, 25, 30. Work that list with them. About, They're going to make. Um, from the new ICM's perspective, because we're talking about pitching it to them. Yeah. If you're pitching a business owner, if you're pitching a, an at home, stay at home mom, or you're pitching somebody who wants to make money, but never wants to do any real estate or, you know, so they stay in the beginning but they could come out with no $20,000 out of pocket. They can pay 197, bring you a five, a 10, you know, a 10 person war market list. You can call on them. And if anybody enrolls, then you both are making um, a significant amount of money right off the bat. It's just another, another opportunity to market to an, a, a, 
a demographic, if you will, that we normally don't ever market to. So it is 23,000. The ICM, yeah, if you haven't, if you sign up as a new ICM, and from start to five star qualification, you receive 23,000. It doesn't matter what you sell, you will make $23,000 to get 29. 23. Because the from zero to 5,000, and Bob went through this on the call this morning, and I don't know why he put a different number on when he did it on the Founders webinar. Because you have the from zero to 5,000, you get 30% off of that. So that's right. 500. And then from five to 15,000, you make 40% of that. So that's a $10,000 spread. So that's 4,000. Then from 15,000 to 50,000, which is 35,000, you make a 50% off of that spread, which is 17,500. So, and then you're five star. So it's 1,500 plus 4,000 plus 17,500 is 23,000. Okay, so Jay wrote the wrong number down. Yeah, he, he gave a case study of uh, I think it was five FX combos or something like that. Right. Still in oh, five okay. FX combos. Oh, you're right. You're nine. right. That's what it was. It was a case study. You're right. My bad. Thanks. So no, no, that no, no problem, Bill. Because that I just want to make sure that everyone was on the same page, so they're not giving confusing. Yeah, if you are pitching to somebody, hey, you can. Sign, you know, sign up as an ICM and start uh, offering these, these educational services as you're making money to get the, to, to the maximum qualification, you will be paid. You know, you'll, you will be paid in order to, if, once you've achieved five star, you'll be paid $23,000. It's almost as if every single person gets the bucket chop and and fill the twenty seven thousand dollar bucket but it, it gets filled no matter what you sell right if we want to use bucket chop language then yeah yeah I'd we're not going to do that anymore about the bucket because it's too confusing but i do have a question if if a brand new icm sells an extreme combo at a discount with a cash value of 99.97 are they generating $5,000 in CV and qualifying, or are they generating just slightly less than $5,000 in CV? Um, no, the C, it would be 1,000 from the essentials and 4,000 from the AIT. Wait, no, that would just, if they're selling, well, we don't have a discounted program at 997, 99.97. Um, okay, so what, um, if you do sell an extreme combo, um, which has a cash value of, um, excuse me, that was the wrong question. You're right. I, I made a mistake. I think you're you at the, if you're talking 99.97 or 99.94, I think you're thinking of the advanced combo retail price. Right. Which is kind of, it can be confusing when we're looking at retail price, cash value, cash price, CV. So yeah, we're kind of, when Bob presented the numbers, he presented everything as cash discount price because the CV, the CVs are even numbers. Essentials is a thousand. The advanced or profits is 1200. The advanced is 3000 and the extreme is 9,000. So, so the CVs are, those haven't, those haven't changed. The CV is the same as the what the commissionable amount was before. It's just a different term, but it's the same number. Does that make sense, Chris? Yes, I just asked the wrong question. Sorry. Cool. All right. So. Uh, Dean, yep, talked about that. Tom and Shelly says, so when I make five star, I break away from my current five star, but they still receive the three level overrides. Yes. Do I then report to my PAC member or do not support and bypass my current five star? Um, I would just say always call your five star and their five star five star because the less demand we put on Renata support, the the leaner the company can run which means they can keep the commissions high um and then if we don't have the answer then we'll call customer support
And I'd just like to reiterate, at Super Saturday, obviously we'll have an opportunity to go through this as well. You know, go, go through the, uh, the, the comp plan and um, we will make some recordings and things available. Yeah. Go through and explain it. I mean, we're, we've known about the change for, for longer. So we've had a little more time to wrap our head around it, but we're still, you know, figuring out all the intricacies. And so once we have full clarity on everything, we'll make sure to, to get those resources out to you guys so that for your benefit, as well as for your team members and guests as well, who are interested in learning more information, make sure anytime you're talking to a guest and they want to get signed up as an ICM, that they do receive the proper disclosures, including the uh, 2020 or 2019, excuse me, 2019 income uh, earning statement, which is available in Helios. You download, just email them the link. That way they have it and you have a paper trail showing that you send it over to them because that is important to ensure that we're not doing any false income claims and they understand. And our numbers are phenomenal. When you compare it to other sales or marketing companies, they don't even compare the uh, percentage of how many people actually get paid and what their average payout is for the first year and for repeat years, our number's incredible. So just make sure that we're always including those disclosures as well. It's protection for you as an ICM, as well as protection for the company. Properly manage those expectations. Is that disclaimer also in Helios that we can email? Yeah, yeah, you can actually just go and, uh, you know, kind of bookmark the link or whatever, and then you can just, you can just email the link. You don't even have to send them the file. You can just email them the link and say, hey, here's the, here's the link to the uh, income disclosure. And uh, that way they have it. And if they update it, and if you're not as updated, it's in the future. Since it's a hot link, it'll just simply link to the new version of the file that they have. They're hosting on the server. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, in all of the talking that we do around, hey guys, this is how much money you could make. It is still mega, mega important to give the average earnings disclosure because you don't want someone to come back and say, well, well, Ryan said I could make a million dollars. And it'd be easy. And Ryan can say, no, I didn't say that. I gave you the disclaimer that this was not typical. And then I also emailed you the average earnings statement, which showed you how much you would make on average, top 10% and top 1%. And then they go, oh, well, never mind then. <laughs> so remember to care for your customer. Care for your customer. And care is an acronym for create a realistic expectation all right let me pull up the chat and see if we've got any new questions here is there two dane clarks <laughs> oh that's funny okay so um person has a question so if I'm three star, 15K QB, but not one star, is there any point to even care that I'm not one star when I already getting 50 for support? Right, yeah, just forget about it. Doesn't matter, one star, doesn't matter in the new one. Tracy says, clarifying question, what is the new commission spread for ICMs to market accurately? Okay, so we were actually working that out. So if that new ICM makes a sale their first epic sale, they're gonna earn 1,500 for the first 30% on the first 5,000. And then they're gonna earn 2,800 on the remaining 7,200. And they will move from here as a brand new ICM to here and still have, um, you know, they get to deduct 11,200 from the CV they need to generate to earn their three, star. So they have 3,800 left. So that was first sale. Cool. I'm just going to move to the other side to cover the second sale. So second sale is um, again 11,200 in CV. And, and on the first 3,800, they're going to get 
40% of that because they're, they, they're still in the three-star world, okay? So 3,800, They're still in the one star world. They're still working toward three stars. Is that correct, Michael? I'm sorry, one star world. Sorry. Still in the one star world, earning 40%. So they get 1520 on that remaining 3,800. And now they've achieved five, uh, three star status. Bum, 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 bum. But we still have. Um, the remaining CV from that second cell to calculate. So 11,200 minus the 3,800 is they got 7,400 now at the 50% mark, which means they're going to get 3,700 off their second sale and be three star. So are you picking up what I'm putting down, Tracy? You following this? Well, I was, thank you for this explanation. I am following this. And my question is more so directed to the commission that they get. Um, we have a spread of $125, I think, to $11,200 for a marketing purposes. I want to make sure that my messaging is accurate. That's my question. Uh, the, the, the minimum dollars would be $300 because the smallest thing you can sell creates a $1,000 CV and you would get 30% of that. Right. And that is also considering that they go through billing where they put down the fourth uh, for what is it 40 percent down yeah but you would get that 300 dollars spread out over 18 months i got it okay perfect so it's now we start 300 to 11,200 that's that's accurate oh i i see what you're asking i'm doing all this math for my own sake i know i love it though it's great and i am i was following you <laughs> okay, cool well let's just finish this out i guess um so now we also have 7400 um, so now this person has generated $22,400. Oh, and my Apple Pencil just died. Awesome. I'm going to unplug it. Nobody freak out. Give it one second. So 50000 minus 22400 is 27600 so they have 27,600 left to generate at the 50% mark in order to hit the uh, five-star status. So let's just play that out real quick. All right, Apple Pencil is charged up, yeah. Resume. There we go. So 22,400 means they got 27,600 to go. So on the third sale of 11,200 CV, they're now getting 50% um, of that. So we can just do times 0.5. Okay, so that would be uh, 5,600 is what they earn. Whoops, wanted to highlight that. 5,600 what they earn there. And we'll just minus 11,200 from here, which puts them at uh, 400, 16,400. So it's the third sale. So I'll just scoot it on over for sale. 11,200 times our 0.5, pays them another 5,600. And we'll deduct another 11,200 from this. So now we have 5,200 left over. 
So on the fifth sale, Uh, there's, they're going to get, there's 11,200 in CV and they're going to get 50% of the remaining 5,200, 5,200 times 0.5. So they're going to get, uh, what is that? 2,600. And then the remaining, uh, plus the remaining 6,000. And so we take five epics combos to get five star, plus you get the 6,000, plus 2,600, plus 56, 56, 37, 15, 20, 28, 80, and 1,500. Now, if I was doing a follow up or I was doing a group follow up or I was doing a demonstration, um, I would probably just stick with combos for now. Um, just so you can talk 10,000s and make it easy. And we're going to just work on making this a PowerPoint so you can just click right through it and make it even easier. Awesome. And I, this is Tracy. I also see this is the beginning of many conversations so that we can all get our brains wrapped around the, the new plan. Again, it's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, it's exciting stuff. There's been an evolution. So that's where you get the 29,000, whatever number that is you're adding up now. Right, so they get five star right here, but then they also get this 6,000 totaling out to, so that's a zero, carry the one. So it'd be, yeah, 29,000, 29,000 even. If they were a brand new ICM and they made five epic sales, they would make 29,000 bucks. And that is 23,000 on the way to five star. Correct. And so while they're making that 23, we are making 27, which is what we were already making by enrolling someone in a combo and then getting them five star. We would get the 9,000 plus the, uh, the 18,000. So we got 27,000 right there. Person, the link um, for the average earnings statement is if you go into Helios, go to the marketing tab, click on presentations, um, and then you search compliance, it'll come up in that search. It's called the average earnings statement. And Dane pointed out a good thing, uh, this average earnings statements is about to be blown out of the water because first year people are gonna make way more money. So just to follow up on what Bill was saying, this is really a turnkey marketing opportunity for somebody to drop 197 bucks and be in a position to make 30% commission, which is pretty, pretty aggressive in any sales industry, but then to graduate to a full 50%, that's, that's huge. A beautiful thing. So remember again to do your, uh, thanks for pointing that out, Clinton. Yeah, being able to attract a higher quality person who's ready to just give you their leads and you close them for them and they make money, you make money along the way, uh, it's just gonna be a lot easier. So remember to use your average earnings disclosure and um, Bob Snyder is a genius. Amen. Yes. Daniel. All right, everybody. Thanks for showing up. I'm glad that we were able to have this time together and create some clarity around 
this new opportunity. Uh, it looks like we've caught up on all the questions, unless there are any last questions we need to go over. One more. <laughs> let okay, let me be the last one. Um, do you hear me? Okay. Yeah. All right, it's Tracy. What I'm hearing also is, is you actually have the opportunity to have your own brokerage. Because when you're five star, you break away, you've really got your own organization. That's powerful. Yeah, I don't know if we get to use the That's word it. brokerage in our marketing quite yet. We'll get that approved. But yes, um, it, it functionally, yes, that's that's the idea here. You yeah. get to be this incredible education distributor running your own education brokerage. Yep, I love it. Good night, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Hey, Michael. Thank you, Michael. I have um, a question, Michael. Yeah, Michael, I just want to have a comment. Okay. Yeah, yeah with this uh, new uh, comp plan that we have, and I think, you know, it's going to give um, a lot of people um a, you know gonna be more successful not just in the marketing side but also in the real estate because they're gonna be making more money um right you know in the beginning that you know people can actually use that money to invest in real estate also yep yep the pitch just got easier we were already we already had the best compensation plan because of how much money is being paid out now it's even better so we have the best education and the best compensation plan you really all you got to do is put people in front of the message and they're going to start buying they're either going to buy because they want the education or they're going to start selling for you because they want to get the commission and it's easy for them to sell because we have the best education it's a beautiful thing hey jenna you got your hand up what's up so will we have some digital copies of this of this soon as far as like the breakdowns of the earnings once you are five star and beyond like all the other explanations yeah, they're going to upload Great. that to the marketing presentations um, portal for you. Awesome. I think they're going to wait until the release date to put that stuff in our hands so that we're, we're, we're all still complying with that. Cool. Thank you for your time tonight. Okay. Hey, One last question about the monies going towards your CV. When people are on billing, the amount that is paid in monthly is the only amounts that you are getting credit for at your commission level. Is that correct? Yes, you got it. Thank you. Okay, you bet. We're going to post a, uh, we recorded this, so we're going to post a recording in the group, in the Facebook group. Um, and just as, just as a reminder to everybody, results are not typical. You have to work your butt off. You have to put in the right time. You have to create relationships. You have to be consistent with your effort in order to get an extraordinary result. So let's use this plan and totally change the average earnings statements for 2020 so next year we can recruit and sell and enroll even, even more. So do your best. Show up on the training calls in the morning. Remember, Jay and Matt are doing a, um, a live podcast tomorrow as well. Um, did anyone want to add anything else? Um, Ryan? Maybe Helios training, I believe, this week as well. Nancy will be back on doing more Helios trainings. Yep, there'll be a Helios Q&A on Thursday. I'm going to be doing Super Saturday in Chicago. And then we have a Super Saturday for uh, Salt Lake City, Denver, Phoenix, whoever, Team Elevate, whatever, uh, on the 13th. And Scott Rowe will be our special guest speaker. So um, stay tuned for these next couple of weeks. It's going to be awesome. Uh, Mr. Black, did you have anything else to add before we wrap it up? No, just congrats to all you guys for sticking it out to the end, for being focused and being committed on your businesses. And we're looking forward to everything that we're going to be able to accomplish with this new update or revision to the comp plan. And uh, it'll be exciting to see very timely. It'll be exciting to see how, how that affects you know, each one of our organizations and, and helps us move and make 2020 the best year ever. So yeah, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to reach out. Michael or I, we're happy to uh, support. See you guys super Saturday. And yeah, it's going to be a good, good month, good year. That's right.